Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on a free piece of software called Moz Backup that enables you to save settings in Firefox and Thunderbird. First thing you need to do is go to the Moz Backup website and I've provided a link in the description to this video. When you get there, click on the Download Now panel and you'll have a choice of either downloading a self-executable installation program or a zipped version. I'm going to choose the self-executable, so click Install Program. You'll then be taken to SourceForge and this will pop up and you can save the file. I've already installed Moz Backup, so I'll cancel out of that. And the installation is a standard Windows installation, so I won't bore you by going through that. When you've installed the program, you'll find this icon on your desktop. You double click it, and this panel will appear. We click Next, and you'll see that the program works with CMonkey, Firefox, Thunderbird, and Mozilla. Now we're going to do a backup of Thunderbird. So we make sure that backup a profile is chosen and then highlight Thunderbird. Click Next and this is the default backup profile that comes with the installation. So we highlight that. Now we need to choose where we're going to save the backup. It doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me to save it to your main drive because if for example you have an irreversible crash then in all likelihood those backups won't be available. So it's probably best to save the backups either to removable media or to a second drive if you've got one. And that's what I'm going to do. So if I click the Browse button, I can navigate to where I want to save the files. And on my second drive, I've created a folder called Mozilla Backups. So we double click that. The file name of the backup is already inserted. Click Save and now click Next. <clears throat> it also gives you an option to password protect the backup. This could be useful if there's a chance of anyone unauthorized getting hold of the backups, but I'm going to choose No. And these are the settings that it's going to back up. You'll notice that some of them are greyed out and that's because we are doing a Thunderbird backup. So things like bookmarks, history, sidebars aren't relevant. So the program intelligently disables them. I also want to do my account settings. So I'll tick that box and click Next. And now the backup's proceeding and you get a progress bar to show you how far it's gone. And that's done. Now I want to back up Firefox. If I click Finish Now, it will close the program. If I tick this box, it will tell it that I want to do another backup or restoration. So I now click Next, click Next again, make sure backup's chosen. But now I choose Firefox, click Next. The directory is fine. Choose the default profile, click Next. Don't want a password protect. And this is what it's going to save. Click Next. Now, depending on how many bookmarks and plugins and extensions you've got, this might take slightly longer. Okay, that's done. Now we'll go through a restoration. So again, we'll tick this box, click Next, click Next. But now we need to change this from Backup to Restore. And I'm going to restore Thunderbird settings. Click Next, Default, Directory is fine, click Next. Make sure that all the settings I want to restore are ticked, click Next. Now it warns you that restoration can overwrite existing files. What this means is that if you did a backup previously and you then, for example, had new emails, added other people to your address book, but you haven't done a backup since then, this restoration will overwrite your current settings. But that's fine for me, so we'll choose yes, and it's now restoring. 
OK, that's done. We can now close this and we'll open up Thunderbird. OK, now Thunderbird's open. Let's take a look at the inbox. Now, I recently deleted a lot of emails, but these are the ones that were on my system when I did the backup and the restoration. You can see they're all there. If I look at my address book, all of my contacts are intact. So we'll close that, close that. And that's really all there is to it. A very useful piece of software. And as I said, it's completely free. I hope you found this a useful tutorial and don't forget to rate and comment and if you like my videos please subscribe. Thanks.